think the weather is great this afternoon and I'm scraping paint. I tell you what, I gotta, I gotta get with the program on this. I got an awful lot to do, you know, to get these things uh, up and inside and uh, usable. And one of the things uh, I want to talk about a little bit is the contamination on these machines. And I can kind of show it, maybe uh, explain kind of what's going on. And uh, the reason I have to take every bit of paint off this machine and I'll show you, maybe I can, oh, oh, I hope I can get it on camera. I get that just like that, okay. Well, you see, you know, this paint's really coming off really good here, I've been working on it. Now, over here at the tailstock, when I first started on it, it was um, really tough in places. And you can see now, if I just touch it with this uh, carbide scraper here, kind of a utility scraper I make with carbide uh, blanks, you know, not for scraping ways, but you can knock nicks off stuff and, and scrape paint, see? But this paint is just really tough in places. But as I'm knocking it off, that, uh, that contaminated uh, uh, cutting fluid, that um, is on there. See, it's not quite got under there yet. But it, as I get the stuff broke down, the the really tough paint starts succumbing to that stuff that's still on there. You know, it, it starts crawling under that. And, you know, you can, like I can knock that loose there and smell it. And it, and it has that uh, metallic smell of that 111 trichloroethane. So, you know, you really, it, it, if you really want to get rid of that, there's no other way besides uh, just getting all the paint off of it. And uh, as I'm getting the paint off, I guess, you know, the uh, that stuff, it, it crawls under. Then you go back over and the paint just knocks off. You know, like there's some extremely tough areas you're just really hard to get but see they start coming off a lot easier as that stuff crawls out so uh, it seems if uh, i wash the machines down with kerosene but it's like uh, uh the mill um, I washed it down just like several times with mineral spirits, you know, I, like I washed it down so much until the rags came clean. And I don't know any other way to get that, uh, that uh, type of tapping fluid out. So I, I don't know. I, I think it's important to get it off uh, because uh, I think it's really a, a terrible health hazard. Now on this end cover here, it, this is an old axis and it's made out of iron the man thinks heavy but see that that stuff didn't really get back here much you know it didn't get under the uh the workforce screen here which is which is the base paint see that's on good um it's hard to get that off i'll get it off but and, and back here on the motor the uh that chemical just didn't quite get there real bad you know places like this they got on the top and but um i i think if you can smell it has a very strong uh, metallic smell to it and uh i think if you can smell it it's bad for you i really do uh mel mel gross uh knows a lot about it and uh you know i i just I don't know as much about it. All I know is it's bad and they banned it, you know. Um, so you really want to be aware of uh, stuff like that. You know, uh, a lot of government machines anymore, you know, they just plain bury them because, uh, because of the contamination and things like that. But I thought you might find that interesting. I am back at it. I'm going to get back into the garage there and, and get going on that little, on that mill project. But you know, this is kind of addictive. You need to smell that stuff. Oh, get that out of there. I don't want any of that. But it, it's on the tailstock good and, uh, and all this tape attachment stuff. And, you know, it's just gotten everywhere. And I'm going to not have to totally disassemble the lathe, but, uh, 
you know, get in the places and just keep cleaning it until you can't smell it anymore. And, uh, I don't know. It's all in a day's work. Day's fun, right? <laughs> but it, it looks pretty sad without paint. So we got, got to got to get a move in here <laughs> okay I just wanted to show that I could get back to the machines <laughs> I want to get back inside and have some fun got a lot of fun to have inside there got things to make and uh, and uh, get these machines up and running or in and running too that's it got to get them in and uh, I've got a lot ahead of me here, so uh, I'm going to get to it a little bit, and uh, i got to get Chloe over here, and uh, we'll be back. Thanks for looking, everybody.